In this movie, we're going to look at how to do fade-ins and dissolves. Now, fade-ins, fade-outs and dissolves are those things that make our movies look amazing. I've set up this movie with three clips from vidEasy.com. You can see it's a really stylish video of an old-school film projector. It's a very slow-moving picture where the camera kind of moves. Really nicely filmed. So this kind of video needs dissolves in between the clips. Because if you have a look at the way the clip jumps from one to another, it doesn't really suit the style of the film. So what we're going to do first of all is see how do we put a fade in into our movie. I'll zoom in a little bit, just rewind it to the start, and you can see the start of the movie is this beautiful shot of the projector with the film running through the spools. And what we're going to do is move our mouse all the way to the beginning, and we're just going to wait for it to turn into that H, like there. I'm going to right click on my mouse, and I've got to do a couple of things here. I've got to make sure the position says from here, not to here, not centered here, but from here. The length I've put at 72 frames, now that's roughly three seconds in real life. I'm going to move that down to 30, and we'll mess around with that in a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a dissolve. And what that does is it instantly puts a fade in into our movie. So if I press play, you can see that it fades in from black. Now, I found that a little bit too fast, especially for a film of this style. So it kind of just jumps in with the fade. I'm going to undo that with my mouse. Go back to the H there. Right click, making sure it says from here. The length I'm going to put at 72 frames and I'm going to add that dissolve in again, and we'll have a look now. And there you go. I, I find that really nice, the way it fades in much slower and much more stylish. So that's a really fast way of getting a fade in. Of course, we can put a fade out at the end of our movie, and we'll figure out how to do that in a second. Now, using the same technique, we can actually add a dissolve from one clip to another without going to the VFX tab, which is kind of cool. So let's have a look at this clip over here. And you can see that it jumps from this shot of the projector directly to this one, and it doesn't look so cool to me. So what I'm going to do is make sure I've got that H on the mouse. I'm going to right click, make my length 72 now, and add in a dissolve. And what should happen now is as we play this movie, it's going to do our dissolve over three seconds. And I find that really cool, especially in a movie of this style. Now let's figure out how we're going to do a fade out. Just zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to go to the end again, making sure that I've got that H on my mouse. I'm going to right click. This time, instead of saying from here, I'm going to say to here. Again, I'm going to make sure I've got 72 frames and I'm going to add in a dissolve. And it will just kind of add that dissolve at the end. And so my movie will finish with a fade out like that. And I find that very cool and a very easy way of getting your dissolves and your fade ins and your fade outs into your movie.